nation's leading scorer right now. Uh, talk about your season so far. Uh, it's been a tough, tough start, you know. Uh, bad. Uh, we played against uh, K. Brenton, Saint FX, both tough teams, you know. But uh, we're getting it together right now. Uh, talk about that game versus Saint FX, the 93-92 the loss. Uh, the X-Men, they seem to have kind of a, a mental thing on you guys right now. Uh, talk about that game. Don't yeah, no, um, I know we had them. You know, we're um, you know we're up by 15, quite like almost the whole game. And uh, I think it's a lot. Of, it's a mental lapse, you know. But uh, we shouldn't let them back in the game, anyways. Up by 15, and uh, you know they pulled it. Th they pulled it through towards the end, you know. And we didn't get. Uh, we didn't really get our way in the last four minutes, you know. Ref kind of made some kind of iffy calls, but hey, sometimes you know that comes in the territory, and we gotta we gotta finish games like that. Do you feel like Christian Upshaw is kind of your nemesis right now? Oh, he had that. He had one on you there down the stretch, and of course last year. Yeah. Well, whatever. You know, he's a good <laughs> basketball player. Yeah. What could I say? But you know, just we just gotta come. We gotta come better. Guys are kind of gelling on the fly here. You get some guys into the system, and yeah. do you feel like it's it's going to come together in time to make a championship run? Yeah, I think so. You know, it's it, it, it's happened in a perfect time. You know, we had a I think we, playing against Saint Effects, we had a good game. Everybody played well, and uh, we just got to finish it. It's more than more than skill. It's all mental, basically. Coach uh, Quackenbush uh, during the press conference talked about your work ethic. Uh, where do you get that work ethic from? Uh, part of my dad. You know, he works hard. You know, uh, come from the Caribbean. Uh, with my parents, um, they didn't, you know, they lived a poor life, so they had to work for everything. So my dad's a longshoreman, and now he's a foreman now. One of the very few black people to, in the West Coast, so, you know, he worked hard. He worked hard to get there, so I look at him as a good as a role model. Got a lot of snow this week. Uh, you getting used to this East Coast living with the weather? Uh, West yeah, Coast guy? yeah, yeah, I'm West Coast, you know, rainy, yeah. rainy Seattle, Vancouver, you know, so uh, uh, this is tough, you know, this is tough, this is tough winter. <laughs> <laughs> No Tory Fawcett on the floor right now as well for the Huskies. Now we got another one. The youngster from Halifax. Riley Halfman. What other teams do you see coming down the stretch here do you think are looking uh, pretty good right now? Obviously the Tigers, X-Men, and Capers are all playing pretty good basketball. Yeah, I, th I don't know what's tough. Right now, this AUS is pretty tough. Like, look at UNB topping off uh, St. FX, you know, like they're up by 15 and they came back and beat them. So anybody can really take it. Like, I can't really say who, really. Anyone can. Talk about uh, kind of, he's kind of become your sidekick, Tory Fawcett. He's uh, really put himself yeah. a great season. Talk about him. Yeah, he's, oh, he's a very good player, very athletic, can jump, um, works hard, you know, and he's just really athletic. You know, and, you know, and, you know at last, you know, I'm kind of missing kind of like Ike and Mark McLaughlin this year. So, you know, I'm gonna, so he's going to be my, my, my go to guy right now. Of course, you've had some uh, incredible games, and you're also shooting over 55% for, for a, a jump shooter. You know, every shot you take is almost beyond 15 feet. Yeah. Do you ever, at any point in the season, have you ever sit back after a game and just thought, wow, what was that? What did I just do? Yeah. And you reflected on time? Yeah, sometimes like that. Yeah, yeah. I think like, like, whoa, like, you know, you know, and I had a bad first half against uh, Dalhousie, only scoring like maybe two or four, six points. And the second half, I just had 37. It was like, after the game, it was like, whatever. The guys said, yo, yeah, 37 points in it. I was like, really? Like, I don't, sometimes I don't think about it, but hey, that comes in practice and in practice a lot. What's it like as you're going through a game and, and you know that you can get your shot almost any time, but yet at the same time you want to keep teammates involved? Uh, how do you kind of ride that line? Uh, no, just, I don't, I, I guess it's instincts. I don't, sometimes I don't really think about it as much, you know, so it's just like instincts. Wouldn't hurt right now to get his eBay a touchdown in the block. Jamie Glasgow checking the end of the game for Gil Fretton as well as he would. What's keeping the Huskies? What's the major weakness right now? I think it's a mental, mental lapse. You know, we have to, you know, like the St. Effects game, we're up. You know, we had these guys on lock, but we let them back in the game mentally. You know, it's it's all, it's all mental. So we got to work on our mental confidence. You guys, you guys going to uh, get these capers this weekend? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I think we will. You know, but at the same time, it's all mental. So we got to make sure we have a good mental focus, mental confidence before the game.
Joey Haywood of the St. Mary's Huskies, the nation's leading scorer. My friend, thank you very oh, much. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you.